Main man, me, man, here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So it's been stated that Amir Queen Khan has now woke up out of his out of his delusional state of slumber and realized that everybody has slammed the door in his face. And he's left with none other than my main man, Kel Brook, a fight that we've all been wanting to see for years. Right. I have so many videos done on this channel about this particular fight that it ain't even funny. You know what I mean? This got to be the number one fight that I've reported on over over time. But uh, it said that um, according to Amir Khan, uh, a fight between him and Kell Brook has been agreed to for 147 pounds. I do recall Kell Brook stating that he's willing to come to 147 to face Amir Khan. But however, Khan has also stated that there will be a rehydration clause in which Kell Brook cannot rehydrate more than 10 pounds. You know, let me just stop right there before we get into the quotes. First off, Khan, you got to understand, man, your days of running things and all of that like that, what you want to do and all that, them days just might be over, bruh. You don't have the same clout as you had two to three years ago. You in a position now where you honestly need Kell Brook. And for you to tell that man that, yo, man, you got to, you know, rehydrate. You can't rehydrate 10 pounds like you the IBF or something. Yo, man, that's laughable in a way. Kell Brook at this time feel like, yo, man, who you talking to? And that's just being real. But, you know, we'll see if Kell Brook honestly, because Kell Brook always talk that talk, but then turn around and give right into the demands of Amir Khan. So we'll see how this go. But just know, man, I think a con, a con. Khan and his Khan army, Barmy or whatever the fuck. I think they have lost and overplayed their hands so much over the years where they've lost their clout. He's been knocked off, knocked off, knocked out by so many people. He's had his do the door closed in his face by so many people. So the clout has died down some. Now, according to Kell Brook, and he has responded on Twitter and he tweeted, quote, please, Mr. Brook, don't rehydrate and hurt me. This diva still thinks he's a celebrity and in the jungle rationing what I can eat. At Amir Khan, King Kong, I weigh in at 147 and then eat whatever I like. Hashtag carnivore. Hashtag too shook for Brooke. <laughs> the man said he gonna eat what he want. You dig? Why is Khan coming in with all of these speculations, all these specifications, if you will? You know, let's just be 100. Khan struggled himself to make the 147 pound division in his last fight, a fight in which he almost got stopped. You know what I'm saying? By a lower tier fighter. He, he barely made the weight himself. He want to put these stipulations on Brooke because he know fighting Brooke at a catch weight, maybe 150, maybe 151. You know, that, oh, no, Brooke will be too strong and he will he will knock my chin into the middle of next week. No, 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 he ain't going to do that. He ain't going to fight my main man, Kell Brook, at his full strength, right? He feels as though Kell Brook, what, he gets too big? Let's not forget, Khan, you went up in weight just like he did, bro. So if you want to fight him at welterweight, that's, that, that's fine. Kell Brook want to accept that, that's fine. But to throw a rehydration clause in there, which, you know, that's not, I mean, in to the totality as a boxing fan of things, just for to have fighters fighting around their right weight is fine. But this is not a universal rule. This is just a Amir Queen Khan thing. You know, acting like he the IBF with their can't, you know, weigh in second day weigh ins or something. But it is what it is, man. Khan goes on to say, if I and I quote, if he's happy to take that, so am I. That fight can happen. Then 147 and it is. And we're with the same promotional team, so that makes the fight even easier. Let's see what happens. End quote. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad Eddie Hearn has been keeping up the pressure on Khan. You know what I mean? With all these weird stories coming out about him lately, man. Yo, man, Khan always looking for some type of attention. But I'm glad that uh, Eddie Hearn has been able to, to tell Khan, like, yo, man, this is what it is. This is your time right now. You want to get out of boxing with a good paycheck? You don't want to leave this stain on your legacy? Well, guess what? You got to fight Kell Brook. It's as simple as that. Khan goes on to say, uh, obviously, me and Brook are with Eddie Hearn. I've left all negotiations to Eddie to speak to both parties, to speak to his trainer, his manager, himself. 
But look, it's a fight I would love to have, and I think it would make a lot of money financially for both fighters. But at the same time, it would be a massive fight in the UK, end quote. Now, I, won't, I will admit, man, this fight has been dragged out so long. Where a lot of people out here in America, man, it's like, man, this fight, man, is way past its expiration date. It's just shit is like literally five years beyond its expiration date or something, you know? It would have been a good fight a few years ago, yes. And when both of these dudes were in their primes, they were possibly were champions, and you know, they were they were really, you know, they they had their mojo going. But now, you know, you got my main man Kel Brook, he a little broken up physically, man. We don't know how good that eye is. Clearly, he doesn't want to compete at the 54 division where we thought he was going to compete at. Don't want to get in there with the likes of Charlo. My main man, Jared Hurd, called him out. He ain't want to have nothing to do with that. Laura wanted him. He ain't want nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. But Kell Brook is possibly not the same fighter, and I could be honest enough to admit that. We just don't know how truly broken up that he really is after that Earl Spence Jr. beatdown and after that Gennady Golovkin beatdown. It remains to be seen. But the one thing that we do know is that Kell Brook has still never, ever, ever, whatever weight, anything, he's even postponed fights like he had Earl Spence waiting for a while. All because he wanted this Amir Khan fight, a fight he has been wanting for years, since the days that both of these fighters were with Frank Warren for crying out loud. Been wanting this fight. But yeah, man, but Khan, man, you know, it's always got to be something with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kell Brook cannot fight me with shoes on. Oh, no, no, he has to fight me with one eye covered up. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we, you know, it's just always something. Yo, A lot of us thought it was kind of funny when he said, come on down to 47. But, you know, it's just, it's laughable, man. Khan is looking for any edge or advantage that he can possibly get, hoping to try to move and box his way to a 12-round victory. But this is going to be a matter of time before my main man hit him with one of them chocolate brownies. You know what I mean? This is going to be a matter of time. But it is what it is, man. So, you know, we'll see how this fight happens. They're saying it. Khan is saying he wants some time to, to do a proper training camp and to promote the fight properly. So, of course, the fight doesn't look like it's nowhere near probable for this year. And I'm sure in the meantime, between time, Khan is still going to continue to call out anybody who are willing to give him a fight that may have a name. Brana, you know what I mean? Uh, Pacquiao, Mayweather, anybody who can he can use for a big name, you know what I mean? But yo, Khan, if you lose any more fights at this point, after especially looking so bad against a lower tier fighter, the little bit of clout that you may have left will be gone. Kell Brook gonna be like, man, shit, man, look, if you wanna fight me, you gonna fight me now on my terms. Because guess what, Khan? You need me too. Only thing Khan got going for me is the is his lunchbox ass army bar me or you know whatever they are you know what i mean that's all he kind of got going for him plus his influence still in the pakistani muslim world and you know in the part of the uk that he comes from you know he still kind of got that similar thing going for him but kel brook has been wanting this dude for years man for a long 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 time since their days of auditioning for the olympics you know what i'm saying so they, he's been wanting this dude for a long 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 time and, you know, maybe Kell Brook always felt some kind of way. I've always said it. Maybe he felt some kind of way about all the attention that Khan has always gotten, how he's always been handled with care. His career has always been handled in a proper way by guys like Frank Warren, how Khan came across the water first and got the American recognition, worked with all the big names in boxing all before Kell Brook did. You know, maybe Kell Brook has always felt some kind of way for whatever reason about that when he thinks he's better than this dude. Not to mention Connors look down on Brooke, talk down on Brooke. Oh, you have to do this. You have to get in big fights. You have to get a world title. You have to do this. You have to do that. You know what I mean? And it's already, you know, at least you can say that Kell Brook is a warrior. Might have got his face broken up, but Gennady Golovkin didn't knock him off his feet. He did take that knee against Earl Spence Jr., but I guess, you know, like in, in, in Kell Brook's case, he said, yo, all he can remember was the, the words of the doctor and, you know, he could have possibly went blind. So it was understandable. And that took me some time to come to, might I add. It took me a, to go to a trip in the Grand Canyons and have an epiphany. I've always told people that in order for me to understand my main man, Kell Brook. But, you know, because I was really pissed off at him for taking that knee. But it is what it is, man. So we'll see if this thing comes to fruition or if Khan just blowing smoke like he always do. You know, he's so delusional where you don't know, you know, if he's keeping it real or if he, if he bullshitting you. You just don't really know. But time will tell. And I'm sure, like I said before, Khan was continue to have dumb, weird headlines coming out. Here there's one out now with him, you know, with a transgender. And I, I don't know, man. I don't want to get into the, to the TMZ side of it. But y'all know what I mean, man. Khan with these dumb stories that's always coming out left and right, wanting to be a reality star, just always wanting to be have attention. You know what I mean? 
And so we'll see if he's just an attention seeking, attention grabbing thing. It's messed up. He loading it up with this rehydration thing. Uh, I don't know if Kell Brook is going to oblige by, but, you know, Kell Brook is in the past, like I said, is talk the good game. But anytime Khan says, oh, you jump, Kell Brook is like, man, I'm not going to jump. I'm not going to jump. All right. You out of your mind. I'm not going to jump. Book it. I'll jump. How high you want me to jump? You know what I mean? And it's, that's always been the case. So we'll see how much Kell Brook really gives in on this rehydration clause, man. I hope he stands his ground. But of course, if he does, Khan's going to be like, oh, he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight. You see what I'm saying? I offered him a fight. I mean, he doesn't want to fight. So it, it's always a catch-22 when it comes to Khan in, in this Kell Brook situation. But we'll see, man. So to the next video, Main Man, Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man, Made Man, Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man, Made Man. Once again, man, uh, you know, heads off to Eddie Hearn, Joe. If he gets this thing done for next year, or whenever, man, this is a big, big fight on UK soil. I'm sure DAZN will welcome a fight like this. Um, I'm very interested still in this fight. Um, just to see Khan, just just to see that glass get, get shot at everywhere, man. I mean, it's due time. It's, it's you know, yeah, a lot of people feel this fight has, may have grown a little stale, but I still kind of want to see it. And, uh, you know, for Kell Brook to take this fight, it, it, some may say he ran from the 154 division. And I, I will agree with you in a sense that. But this is a fight that's just been long overdue. And I don't think Kell Brook can retire in peace unless he honestly got this fight. So we'll see. So see the next video. Peace out.